We are just two days away from 2024 Topps Chrome Update. Some collectors are excited, while others might be a little bit turned off from the news and announcements they have made about this product. So today we're going to be going over every format of Chrome Update and determining whether or not which version you should probably buy when Wednesday rolls around, if you already haven't pre-ordered or anything like that, of course. So what's going on, guys? It's Grip Rip. And before we get into the video today, let's plug the giveaway. Probably one for like for the last time, pro probably realistically. Um, so all you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content that we do make. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section below and all the other videos on what has been your favorite moment this baseball season. We hit the goal of 10K, so now I'm going to start reading the submissions, which might take me a couple days, but that's okay because I'm not going to the card store until Friday anyways when holiday rolls around. So uh, I had a little, I guess, due date, I guess, per se, to when to get this done. So either way, let's get into it. So big week ahead, man. Big week ahead, of course, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Chrome Update, and Thursday, Friday, we got a holiday. Saturday, Sunday, I don't really know. Probably something will come out of these two sets that I have to talk about. Because realistically, you know, when it comes to Chrome Update, we'll talk holiday a little bit later down the line this week. Um, but there is a lot of subject matter um, for Chrome Update this year. Chrome Update on paper looks to be the best best product of 2024 but the problem here is that there is a big controversy surrounding a format of this product quite frankly too to be honest I mean there's four there are four different formats of Chrome Update we'll start I guess from cheapest to most expensive so in this order we got monster boxes which We'll talk about that. Hobby boxes, Breakers Delight Scam, and Jumbo. I believe that is the order from least to most valuable in terms of how much you have to spend. I think the Breakers Delight Scam is in the middle of the two hobby formats, right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to be talking a little bit of odds, which odds in this case really don't matter um, because you're getting what you're getting and it, it's pretty self-explanatory what you're getting in each format. Um, so when it comes to like retail, I mean, you know, we'll talk a lot about this in this video. Retail is honestly dog shit this year. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that, I guess, first. Um, of course, monster boxes, monster boxes, <laughs> 28 cards, $50. Now, if that sounds a little off to you, yes, you are correct. The regular Chrome monster boxes had, I believe, 40 cards, and it was $65. So, 15 less cards for 15 less dollars. Something doesn't sound right, and you would be correct. Because it's really, I mean, if you, if you know the number 28 in Chrome, that comes from a blaster box. So, I've talked about this quite a bit here on the channel... Of course, you get X-Fractors and, and things like that. But here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. The odds to pull anything else from retail in this product is awful. Like, terrible, terrible, terrible. And, you know, when it comes to this format, listen, I I'm not going to tell you not to buy it because this product is going to be, one, sold out everywhere, two, Price skyrocketing. I can promise you right now. I can promise you this right now. Hobby boxes and jumbo hobby, hobby boxes will be sold out at every card store you go to, every card store online, and they will be increased 50 bucks easily a couple days after release. I am telling you right now, come Friday, Saturday, or next Sunday, when um, Chrome Update is out, Hobbies will be at least 250. I can promise you that. Guaranteed easy. So getting back to the monster box controversy, right? I'm not gonna tell you not to buy it because here's the thing. 
you might not be able to find a hobby box or a jumbo hobby box or, you know, God forbid, a Breaker's Delight scam, right? Which that should be the last format you should ever buy with any product that, that promotes that, that uh, version, right? So um, I'm not going to tell you not to buy it because realistically, the Monster Box, a.k.a. the Blaster Box, might be the only version you can find or maybe even afford with how these prices are going to go through the roof. So at the end of the day, it's not terrible. Is it pretty shitty about what they are doing with Monster Boxes disguised as Blaster Boxes? Absolutely. Um, you don't get a lot of base cards. That's another thing. Like a lot of the cards in the box, like over 50%, are going to be like parallels, unnumbered of course, but like, you know, uh, X-Fractors, and there's uh, something else in there too. I don't know if they're sepias or pinks or, or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what the other ones are, so come back tomorrow. We're going to be talking all about that and what you get guaranteed per box and everything like that. Um, So come back tomorrow for all that juicy info. But, um, you know, the majority of the cards you're going to pull in those monster boxes are going to be parallels. Not numbered, of course, but parallel nonetheless. But the problem with that is... The problem with that is a lot of people think when they hear the word parallel, they're like, oh, this is going to be a good card. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They're going to be printed to the moon and back. They're going to be printed to Kingdom Come, dude. So like a Paul Skeen's X-Fractor, which, you know, would, in normal Chrome would be probably, I would say, 15 to $20, might at the end of the day with this be maybe 5 to 10 if you're lucky to get 10 because... They're going to be printing a lot, a lot, a lot of each player. And again, the rookie checklist, I mean, the checklist alone is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular checklist. So come back on Wednesday. We're talking all about the checklist on Wednesday, of course, on release day. But that's not the problem. The problem is going to be the X-Fractors that they print to the moon and back. And they're going to make them not valuable at all. That is what people should be talking about. But I don't see any of that talk because I don't know if people don't care or they're just oblivious to that reality. The reality of it is those X-Fractors you pull if you decide to spend $50, which are you going to get $50 back in that format? Tough to say. But either way, I wouldn't necessarily buy it. But again, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. But either way, we still have three formats to go in this video. So with that out of the way... And realistically, that was the big chunk of the video because that that format is just terrible in all, all in all regards. Let's talk hobby. So hobby, of course, went up for pre-order on tops.com for 150. Gonna be on tops.com for $199.99. So basically $200. So I said it once and I'll say it again. I, I told you guys this back when they went up for pre-order last month or whenever it was. If you want one now, get it now because prices are going to be through the roof release day and even on a couple days later. Like I said a couple minutes ago, I could absolutely see a reality where these boxes get to 250 easily after release day. I can guarantee that's going to happen. So, you know, if you wanted one, hopefully you got one. I got one. I actually I actually got my shipping notification a couple days ago. It's actually supposed to be here today. Now, if that happens or not, I, I don't know. I, I'm willing to bet that it doesn't, but you never know. So some people, you know, on, on YouTube, you might see them open Chrome Update early because Tops is actually sending it out. Um, they are sending at least shipping notifications out. Um, actually pretty early compared to other, you know, products. You know, I could kind of, this kind of reminds me of Series 1. So Series 1, of course, if you pre-ordered through Tops.com this past January, um, it actually was sent to your house a couple days early. I had Series 1 like two days early this past year. And same thing kind of, it kind of is ringing true with, with this product. So you might, if you ordered through them, get it today, tomorrow. Um, you probably are going to get it early, but I just don't know when, depending on your, I guess, where you're at and where you're located from the shipping, whatever. But um, either way, I mean, 150, 200. Um, I imagine your car stores will probably be selling them for 200 to 210, maybe 220. That's my guess, at least. Um, one autograph. Now, they are not on-card autographs. Keep that in mind. Autographs are not on-card in this entire product. So keep that in mind. When you pull a sticker 
auto. Just be remembered that they're all that way. So just be warned. Just FYI, okay? So I will say, hobbies are probably, and we'll talk a little bit about this in a couple minutes, but probably hobbies are the best way to buy this product. Because if you look at the odds, the best way to pull parallels is actually the hobby box, which is kind of crazy, but I'll talk a little bit later down the line in this video why they do that. So before I get ahead of myself, let's go over the other two formats first, and then I'll talk about why they do what they do. So of course, the next one is the Breaker's Delight Scam. That pretty much sums it up there. Breaker's Delight Scam, um, two autographs, a bunch of parallels, no base cards, Listen, I would not buy that. I would absolutely not buy that. That is an absolute waste of like, what? what is it, like three fifty or whatever the price is, $300 or whatever it is. That is just an absolute ripoff. That's why I call it Breakers Delight Scams. Because realistically, those boxes are really only for breakers that want to sell team breaks or individual player breaks or whatever. And that basically gives them the pass, I should say, of not sending out base cards. Because realistically, you know, when you do breaks um, in fine print, it doesn't always say that. But sometimes it'll say, um, when you buy these breaks, no base cards ship. Um, so realistically, these boxes are really only meant for breakers to do breaks with and to not shuffle through base cards. Because, you know, I actually I actually did a couple breaks back in like 2022. And I will say, man, going through those base cards and sending them out and shuffling them and trying to sort them out, it takes a long time. It takes a very, very long time to shuffle them all out and sort them and then ship them all, which, you know, shipping is a lot of money with, with all that stuff and involved and everything like that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. But that's why the Breakers Delight boxes, Breakers Delight scams even exist. I wouldn't necessarily buy one. If you're Breakers... If you're a breaker, buy, if you want to do breaks with them, be my guest. But if you're an average collector wanting to enjoy the product, this is not for you. It's not for anybody. So that's pretty much what I got to say about that. And of course, we got the Jumbo. The Jumbo. Going to be pretty pricey. Going to be pretty, pretty pricey. Um, Jumbo will definitely shoot up in price. Probably, I honestly, probably towards 500 I could guarantee upwards towards 500 at the end of the week. Um, three autographs. That is basically the biggest selling point of that. Odds to pull parallels are a smidge worse than they are for the hobby. Now, I guess let's get to that reasoning as I was just talking about. Why they do that is because it's basically a trade-off, okay? So here's how they operate. And if you didn't know this, this is great for future reference when it comes to buying other products like Chrome next year, maybe Bowman, Bowman Draft, you name it, right? So here's what they do, okay? They do a trade-off kind of system. So for example, if you get one auto in a hobby box, you're going to get more parallels. And then with jumbos, you get more autos in trade for less parallels. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that your autos are not going to be parallels, which at least one of them, if you buy a jumbo, should be. Now, there will probably be at least one base auto, and there will be some boxes of hobby that are base autos. I will say, though, a lot of the autos you will pull in this product are going to be parallels, which is really, really nice. So that is always an A plus to me, but there is a chance you do pull a base auto here and there, but it's really unlikely. I have honestly never opened a, a hobby box of Chrome update and pulled a base auto. going to knock on wood there. Hopefully it doesn't happen this year. Now that I said that, but watch it will, because I said that obviously, but either way, at the end of the day, what is the best way to buy Chrome update? Well, Realistically, the best way to buy Chrome Update is probably the Hobby Box because, for one, I will say this, uh, I'm kind of going to talk about this tomorrow a little bit. I'll just summarize it a little bit right now. Autos and the autograph subjects, there are a lot of pictures, a ton of pictures, and realistically, there's only like three of them, of course, Iminaga, um... What's the other one? Yamamoto and Skeens. Those three are the top three pitchers you would want to collect. 
And all the other ones are like terrible relievers or relievers that made like one or two appearances or maybe one start or two starts and are basically in AAA and things like that. So, you know, for instance, if you pulled all three pitcher autos in a jumbo, which definitely can happen, you just wasted a lot of money if it's not like a big three rookie pitcher, which I just mentioned the top three, obviously. So if you pull three no-names autos, yeah, that's going to make you feel pretty bad. Now, if you only waste 200 then you could say, you know what, I didn't waste too much money, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you're going to waste like 450 and get three pitcher autos, but hopefully that doesn't happen to you, but it's a possibility... I'm going to try to find a stat. So someone in the comments, someone in the comments, let me know how many pitcher autos are there in the entire product? Because I'm telling you, it's probably almost 50%. I think there's 157 total autographs, like players. And I think it's like 63, I think the number is for pitcher autos, which I mean, that is, that's a big chunk. That is a huge, huge chunk. So realistically, I would probably value the hobby box the best way because you're going to be getting a couple more parallels or at least it's going to be easier to pull parallels. And if you hit a good auto, then you hit a good auto. But if you don't, at least you could say at the end of the day, maybe you pulled a decent parallel or two. So that's probably realistically the best philosophy I got going into this. Now, if you want to complete the sets... I would say Jumbo, but Jumbo is going to be pretty pricey. Of course, it's like four fifty five hundred. dollars um, going to definitely be 500 in a couple days for sure. That's a promise. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. If you want to complete the checklist and do all the checklist, Jumbo is probably the best. Um, Breakers Delight Scam, no. Hobby is good all around for total value. If you got it for 150 or 200 now, if you get it for like 250 maybe 3 yeah, that's a little pricey there, but, you know, it is what it is. If you wanted it, here's what I say. If you wanted Chrome Update, you would have already pre-ordered it or at least tried to get it. Um, if you if you didn't get it yet and are waiting for a release day, that's just terrible uh, uh, philosophy. Now, if you, if you didn't have the money then and have it now, then that's a different story, of course. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And then, of course, the Monster Box, a.k.a. the Blaster Box, um, I wouldn't necessarily buy it. Now, if you want to just try Chrome Update just to see what it is, then yeah, I would say buy that. But if you're going to buy Hobby Boxes or or if you're going to buy hundreds of dollars of Chrome Update, there is no reason to buy Blaster Boxes. That, that's exactly what I'm going to call them because that's exactly what it is. So either way, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I got a Hobby Box. I don't think I'm going to buy any more. Depends. I don't know. Um, it really sucks that there's no blaster, like official blaster box this year um, or, or an official monster box. Really, that's what we should be saying. It kind of sucks that there's only one retail format this year. There was last year, there was two. This year, there's one. I don't really know what they're doing about that. It's kind of dumb, to be honest. Um, but either way, um, I got a hobby box. I might, might get some loose packs if my guy even sells them. But as of late, my guy has not been selling like individual packs of hobby product, um, like at least when it comes to those products, because what Tops does, and I, you know, I've talked about this in the past, what they'll do is my guy wants like three cases of each or whatever, or maybe four cases of each version, and they'll send them two. So kind of sucks. That's what, the, what that's what they're doing though. So I don't really know what to do. So either way, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Of course, we have holiday this week as well, so stay tuned for that as well. But before we open two fat packs of um, Stadium Club, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video. So this video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. And we have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below, download the app today, use my promo code Grip and Rip. That is promo code Grip and Rip at checkout to save $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek.com. So big thank you to them for sponsoring my video. Now let's open the last two fat packs we got of Stadium Club. I'll tell you, man, I might grab more of these. I don't really know, of course, because in December, we're going holiday. Literally every single day in December, we're opening holiday. Um, I, I'm getting a box of Chrome Update. I have a full box 
of Stadium Club, literally right here. I have a whole entire hobby box, except one pack that I opened. So I'm not entirely sure if I'll grab more. Um, I might, I will tell you, my aunt actually got my cousin one of these, my little cousin one of these today, and she actually pulled a Paul Skeens Red out of this. So it was pretty cool there. She actually showed me, she pulled a Paul Skeens Red um, from a fat pack today from my local Walmart. So that's pretty cool to see. Of course, all of her pinks were pirates, of course. Um, but, you know, at least she got one of the good pirates, obviously. So that's a plus. Here we go. Um, Justin Steele, back to the Cubs, man. Back to the Cubs. Up three Cubs in a row. Ian Happ. Oh, they, they, cards are bricked up. Here we go, man. Cards are stuck together. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. You hear that crunch? You hear that crunch? Jeez. Anthony Volpe. I think I didn't. Okay, I didn't miss a card there. Okay. Um, here we go. We got an Austin Wells. Oh, we got a stuck card. Stuck card. Hold on. Look at this, man. We got Dominguez. So luckily I caught that and I looked on the back. I'm looking at the back of all these cards because I don't want to uh, miss one. So we got Austin Wells. We got Tatis. More bricked up cards, man. Like, what is going on with this product, man? How long? Realistically, I, I got to ask, right? Realistically, how long have these cards been sitting in a warehouse for? Because it, 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 it sounds like, or it looks like to me at least, that they've been sitting in a warehouse for a little bit because as you guys know with stadium club and these cards are all stuck together here sheesh all right joe musgrove as you guys know with uh stadium club over time as these cards sit in a pack they tend to get stuck together and you know we're seeing that literally the first week with this product so i'm not entirely sure what's going on um, but either way we yeah i'm gonna hopefully Cover that. Uh, J-Rod. We got a J-Rod um, power packed. Pretty cool insert. I will say the inserts are pretty nice in this product. We have a Mike Yastrzemski. Uh, I assume this is a red. Uh, here we go. A red of Mike Yastrzemski. So let's see. We got some reds. Uh, let's see, man. Do we get an Ellie De La Cruz pink? Now, as I stated before. Some fat packs, all of the pinks will be of the same team. Some won't. So let's hope actually this time around they're all reds because hopefully we can get an Ellie. Oh, no Elvi Marte. So we have two for two. Do we get a Ellie? We do not. So we went to another Ohio team in the um, Guardians. I almost said Indians. Um, either way, uh, two rookies, I guess not bad. And of course we got a Tom Seaver. That's a pretty cool card. Tom Seaver Chrome. All right. One pack down, one more to go. Let's see what we get here. This probably is going to be the last fat pack that I do buy. Um, I, I might grab another one here or there. Actually, I do thoroughly enjoy these, but again, I have a whole hobby box here to open and holidays coming up, uh, and a Chrome update, a uh, hobby box is coming up here. Um, this week so we have a lot of stuff to open so i don't really know how much more of these or how many more of these i'm gonna buy so we here we go man more bricked cards man more bricked cards gotta love it man all right we're going back to the cubs ryan sandberg we have uh, say at suzuki i see two backwards cards here so i'm gonna go on a whim and say one is a black foil and one is a red that's my guess but you know we'll see i see two backwards cards there so we'll see um, Bernie Williams. So I, I like the Hall of Famers in this product. Nice little product here. Ooh, Mickey Mantle. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. Mickey Mantle. Always love when they put Mickey Mantle cards in the product. Aaron Judge, of course, should be AL MVP of the year. We, we will know that officially, I think, in the first week of December. So I am assuming he is most likely going to win uh, AL MVP. It's pretty, you know, pretty for certain. All right, Key Brian Hayes. So let's see. Do we pull any more pirates? Hope oh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see. We will. All right, Henry Davis. All right, Henry Davis. Pretty cool. And that looks to be the only two pirates we pull. And we got Javi Baez. So we have a Javi Baez. Assuming this is a black border. Oh, a green. Oh, look at that. Stadium Club green. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Like that card. So that is a green. So that is not numbered, by the way. Not numbered at all. You'd be surprised. These are not numbered. Um, typically, in other products, they're out of, I think, 99 or whatever. Um, and this, they're not. So, and we got a Corbin Carroll. We have a Corbin Carroll. Oh, I see a, oh, I see a good one. Did you guys see who is behind here? 
Spoiler alert. Is this who I think it is? Sorry, Corbin. Skipping you for a second. This is a good one. This is a... Oh, Hideki Matsui. <laughs> These cards are all stuck together, man. Look at that. Jackson Merrill Red. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nice little uh, chippage there, though. I don't like that. See that? Look at the top of the card. Oh, uh, little, little, little damage on the top of the card right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Mm, don't really like that too much, but nothing you can really do about it. Cool card, though. Really, really cool card. So... I pulled a Paul Skeens Black, and now I pulled a Jackson Merrill Red. So I I like that, man. Hideki Matsui Pink. That's pretty cool, right? Hey, Mariana Rivera Pink. Do we get a captain? Let's get a captain. Ah, no, we have Yogi Berra. All right, three cool Yankee Pinks. I'll take that. And the last card, Freddie Freeman, who was, I believe, the World Series MVP. Would have made no other sense if it was any other player. So, all right, that was a really good pack. That was a really, really good pack, I will say. Ah, they are tempting me to go back and buy more, huh? That's what always happens, man. That always happens. It always happens when you open a last fat pack or whatever, and you do really well like I just did, and you go, well, oh, I gotta go buy more now. So I don't know, man. Um, It's tough to say because the, the, the pack correlation was really, really bad with these, so I don't know. Um, but I, I do enjoy the pink, so that was a nice little touch they added to the fat packs. That's why I bought them. Just to, you know, try it out. But I got a good Jackson Merrill, man. Good Jackson Merrill Red. By far the best uh, fat pack card we have pulled in the fat pack. So, yeah, I'll take it. But either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.